Allocation to recurrent expenditure excluding established personnel costs for 2017 is 30.6 million naira, while for ongoing and new capital projects, 755 million naira is allocated. The Deputy Chief Whip reacts to these provisions. Bini Owena River Basin Authority serves four states, namely Delta, Edo, Ikiti, and Ondo states which are critical to the success of the agricultural and diversification policy of the federal government. In another development, a public hearing on a bill for an act to repeal the Small and Medium Scale Enterprises Development Agency Act and reenact the Small and Medium Scale Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria was widely supported by key players in the industry. Artisans, craftsmen, market women and because they form the larger uh, chunk of the business that transaction that uh, and the multiplier effect they have on the economy is enormous. This is something that will have great impact to the macro, small and medium businesses in Nigeria. This is what has been happening in other places. Who will be the better for it? The struggling MSME man or woman in the street our country, Nigeria. Also, a bill for an act to make it mandatory for vehicle tyres to bear manufacturing and expiry dates to prohibit importation of used, substandard and expired tyres, sponsored by Yakub Abiodun Balogun, was well received. You say this tyre, with all this uh, uh, trade, you say it is good. Whereas when it is expired, see what has resulted. Only God knows what happened to the occupant of the car that uh, brought this about. A bill for an act to establish the Chartered Institute for Training and Development of Nigeria was also considered. From the National Assembly, Dennis Adigunluyi, NTA News.